surprised at how clumsily this has been handled by the majority of the Board of Elections. I'm surprised that they didn't understand that it is wrong and likely illegal to coordinate prior to a meeting um, with a majority of members of the board. I'm surprised that um, the, the concept of violating open meetings law never even occurred. I mean, this, uh, these are things that we don't do. We don't make decisions in the back room prior uh, to um, coming forward with only members of one party. Mm -hmm. And it's um, just surprising to me. I, I don't understand what was the thought process uh, that made the majority of this Board of Elections think that maybe people wouldn't notice or that um, was it an intentional fight that was picked? Was it an intent to have this argument? I, it's really mysterious to me, the motive. And so um, we want to govern on the basis of clear criteria. The clear criteria are set forth in the law. Geographic diversity is not one of them. It's not something that was ever suggested. It, it, you know, um, s uh, square miles don't vote. So to say that, uh, you know, a particular location, a particular location doesn't hasn't been uh, afforded the opportunity to have an early voting site when very very few people live there is not only in conflict with the law, but it's very much in conflict with good and wise stewardship of taxpayer dollars. I thought the Republican Party was the party that put an emphasis on spending money wisely. I like Brookville. It's a pleasant community. Its population density does not merit an early voting site. Now Mr. Shalek has backed away from that, but he's still not supporting the Lawton Center, which is densely populated and clearly serves more voters, Democrats and Republicans. The Lawton Center is more convenient for Democrats and Republicans.